Back here again, another special NBA playoff edition in the zone. Knockdown J, Chris Broussard in the building, dressed up for the occasion. Thank you, Chris. Uh, glad to be here. Got to get the barbs started early. All right, let's get started, Chris. First topic, the best player in the NBA right now, Kevin Durant. All right, he didn't stop me. He's on board. Kevin Durant, He might the best be. Player. We'll see. He's playing great. He might be. Chris Broussard, I will start it with this. Should Kevin Durant stay in Golden State, assuming they win the title, or should he go? Should he leave for allegedly greener pastures in New York with the Knicks or perhaps Brooklyn or the L.A. Clippers? Should he stay or should he go? I've said in the past that I think KD should stay one more year. You're going into the new arena. You go for four straight rings, which Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Shaq, Kobe, none of these guys you're compared to has done that since Bill Russell. He's the only one to ever do it. And that could, you know, separate you from a LeBron James and some of these other guys you're compared to. Not necessarily make you better, but certainly give you something you've done that they never did. Three in a row would give him that over LeBron. But uh, as I watch this team play over time, I've changed my mind. I think they are too mentally taxed to win four in a row. I think they're mentally taxed now. I think their their eye is on the destination and not the journey. It's just like, man, let's win this thing. You know, we think KD's out of here. You know, let's just go ahead and win this thing and, and you know, start all over again next year. So I, I just think that to bring them back, there's a reason team, no team since Bill Russell have won four straight. Have, have, no team has even gone to four straight other than, or five straight, like these Warriors since Bill Russell. And because it becomes so taxing, even Michael Jordan, as mentally tough as he was, he stopped after each three-peat. Kobe and Shaq added Carl Malone and, well, they didn't win it, but they, they, they didn't win after their three in a row. They got tired. It's, it's tough. So I, I think they would still be the most talented team in the league, but I think they'd be mentally taxed and wouldn't win four straight. So I, don't, I, would, I wouldn't even pick them. If they win it this year, Kevin Durant returns, I would not pick them to win it next year. Wow. I'm not saying they weren't, wouldn't be capable of doing it, but I just think it would be so mentally draining that they wouldn't do it. Secondly, and I'll be quick on this point, even though KD would have won four straight, guess who else would have won four straight? Steph. And it still would probably be viewed as Steph Curry's team. Mm. Steph might be the finals MVP of the last two for all we know, if they won four straight. So it's not just like he built this team and they won four straight. He still went to a team that was ready-made and will win four. I have more to say, but I'll, I'll let you give yeah, your point. Yeah, I, I can't get on board with any of that, Chris. Uh, I, get, I mean, the taxing part, you're right. In the regular season, they look taxed. The they don't look taxed in the postseason, well, losing the two to the Clippers? Series, you needed to, that wake-up call. I think they got it, right? They blew the fourth quarter lead and then blew... Uh, I guess game five. They should have won that. Since that, I mean, they were lights out in games one and two against the Rockets. I didn't see a mentally taxed team. I saw a team that had their eyes on the prize, and they closed both fourth quarters. Uh, they didn't appear mentally taxed in that, but I get what you're saying. It's tough to win. They, well, they're up. ready now. Now it's playoff yeah. time. It's, it's play. like, and you, you're facing a legit threat, not the Clippers. Yeah. So they're all zoned in. Yeah. And they would be zoned in next year in the finals. Yeah. But I'm just saying that I just think it, journey, yeah. it'd be but such – yeah. you already saw Russell. problems this year. To go back to the Bill Russell days, I, what were there, 15 teams in the league then? Something like, The travel was nothing that it is now, the postseason. I was looking at the numbers. These Warriors, last, what, four years in the finals, have played basically a full another season. So you're right. The taxing is there. Physically the and mentally. The is absurd. And for Kevin Durant to leave going from – here you go, Clay. Steph, here's a lob to Draymond to going to New York. Frank Nilakina, good luck with that jumper. Kevin Knox, can you not travel? Well, I, I would never, Lance Thomas I would never recommend going to New York by yourself. Okay. But okay. if you go with Kyrie Irving, now you have a chance but to then really we do get something. Into, does Kyrie want to play? Well, no, him? there has to. Well, there, look, I, I, I would never tell Kevin Durant go to New York by himself, even if they were like had a really good supporting cast. I just think he's not built for it by himself, okay? But I'm assuming if you go with Kyrie Irving or if you go to the Clippers or if you go to Brooklyn with someone else. My point is this. Kevin Durant 
is beginning, people are now talking about, uh, can he catch LeBron? Yes. Uh, can he even be in the discussion with a Jordan? The only way you that get in there, I was on the herd today, and he said, is Durant top 10? Every single player that we would put in the top 10, even if it differs with a few players, whether you don't have a Keem, somebody else has a Keem, somebody has Duncan, somebody has Kobe, Oscar, whatever. Every Take out Oscar Robertson. Every other player has led their own team to the championship. Okay, time out loud. And That's Kevin Durant, that is an asterisk. We had Ennis Cantor, Ennis Cantor on my radio show to I couple yesterday. I asked him, he was a former teammate of KD's. I said, look, we know KD is great, arguably the best player in the world, top 10 all time, all that. Do to players. We've heard the media. I don't care what players. No, let me finish. I don't care what he let is. me finish. We've heard media say it. We've heard former superstars like Walt Frazier say there's a mental asterisk there. I said players. Do players feel that way? He said, I've talked with players. Most players do feel like he has to go do his own thing. There will always be, he will never be LeBron James or certainly not Michael Jordan if your legacy is you went to join a 73-win team that won a championship without you and won titles. Okay, he you were great. a team that did not win the They finals. won 73 games. Who cares about the regular They were season? in the finals. The Bucks won 60 games this year. whoop de damn do. Oh, what you is, comparing this Bucks team no, to that not. Warriors team? The Warriors lost. They needed Kevin Durant. There's a reason they got on a plane. There's Amber not a look. Say, Kevin, we need Kevin you, is great. We I, need they, you. They, hold on. They went to recruit Dwight Howard a couple years earlier when they were still a they good team. They needed He's, Kevin Durant. They didn't need him. They He's a great him. player. He's been they the didn't need him. Twice. So if was you, Andre Iguodala. So was James Worthy. Does that mean he was better than Magic? Is that fine? So is Cedric was? Maxwell. Does that mean he was Worthy. better than Bird? In that series? Fine. It's a team game. And who it doesn't the mean this your team. Whose team are the Warriors? Whose team are the Warriors? I don't know the answer to that question. Please. The best player Please. we know the Whose answer. Whose team are the Who's Warriors? Who's the best player on the Warriors? Kevin Durant. The Nobody denies that. They needed him. They did not need him. They didn't win against LeBron and Kyrie. Largely because Draymond got suspended. They didn't win. Let's keep they it. Needed. I agree. They did not need this it. Idea as that, great oh, as Kevin Durant is, and, and look, I'm not denying he's arguably the best player in the world. He's arguably, arguably top 10 all arguably. time. Arguably top 10 all time. They did not need him. That's, and, that's and, factually and whether, incorrect. okay, you they disagree. They finals to Kyrie and LeBron. Okay. That's a fact. You know what? All right. They flew out there to recruit Kevin Durant. Another fact. Who Kevin wouldn't? Kevin Durant comes there. Another fact. They went to titles, facts, and he was the MVP twice. Look. Big old facts, Broussard. Look, they did not need him. You know it. I know it. That's the perception. Perception is often reality. From who? Players, media, fans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Players, media. Yeah. Don't Hold on. on Twitter? Players? I don't care about these oh, really? Well, play history will not give two. That's players. who determines yeah. history. Players, media, fans. You're That's who determines history. The prism of right now, 10 years from now, nobody's going to say, uh, oh, he joined uh, the 70s. Uh, yeah, they will. They're going to say, damn, that I just told you something that happened money. 30 years ago. That Larry Bird had two eight-point games in the finals. That Cornbread Nobody Maxwell that. was the MVP. I just mentioned it. Nobody says Larry Bird had eight game, eight points in the finals. They I just heard Bird someone mention it on TV the other day. I'm telling you right now, Kevin Durant wins three finals in a row. Three finals MVPs. Okay. He passes Kobe Bryant on the all-time greatness list. Stop. That's it. a fact. No, 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 One no, no, nothing, no. J -Mac. We ain't next topic. <laughs> we are not next topic. What? There yeah. is no way if Kevin Durant wants to be in the conversation with Michael Jordan. If he wants to pass LeBron James, he has got to go he's, somewhere. Listen, no, listen. I looked let, it up. He's only 31. Finish. He's 31, let me finish. Chris. He's got to go somewhere else and lead a team to a championship. Don't you dare. As great as, See, stop it. As I great as Kevin Durant is, don't you dare put his name in the same sentence with Michael I'm, Jordan. I have not uttered that man's name. With in Michael this. Jordan, unless he leads Listen. his own yeah. team. Okay, time out, everybody. You can Chris Broussard is now all that. setting it. So let me know the teams that Kevin Durant can go to and win a championship. Sacramento, go there, KD, win a title, and then we'll respect you. Now this that's is what, what you, it sounds this is like. What you resort to, but that's I mean, what really, it sounds like. Stay in the ball. What should he do? Go to the Wizards? Take John Wall to a title? Have, like, have I ever that mentioned logic? the Kings? Fine. Or the Wizards. There's a small list of go? teams. Fine, let's he hear. He and Kyrie Irving should go to the Knicks. I don't think Kyrie wants to play with him. Well, I don't it, think it, look, KD wants Kyrie to play with him. If Kyrie doesn't go there, 
then either go to the Clippers or stay it with Golden See, State. See, and now we're telling someone what to do with well, their career look, and look, livelihood. Look, stop. Hold on. Hold on. Dude, because look, you are going to go on let's TV not and have, have let's not, not have, right, Chris. Let's not have knock down Jay if we're going to bring life issues in. But no. We're not. Of course. Kevin Durant can do whatever the heck he wants, and we and I would bless him. So, okay, let Give me, me ask, my blessing. Are you going to respect no, let him me if he finish. stays in Golden let, State? Stop. Let me. I can't talk if you're going to be interrupting every thought. Let's not bring a guy's family decisions, a guy's personal feelings into it. Because, of course, Kevin Durant can go wherever he wants. Of course. And I'm not going to fault him for doing what he wants to do, what's going to make him happy personally. We are talking about basketball-wise. Don't bring anything else into it. If Kyrie Irving wants to leave Brooklyn and go to freaking Orlando, if that's what makes him happy, Fine. I will judge it from a basketball standpoint. Okay. So don't bring in what Kevin Durant wants to do to make him happy. But, of course, okay. do what makes him from happy. A from a basketball standpoint. From a basketball standpoint. Legacy standpoint. There are people playing in the league Who now. Can't... Listen, people that didn't play in the league are playing in the league now, former stars, that will never give him his full credit. I think he's phenomenal. But they will not give him his full 100% credit he deserves until he leads his own Are you team. one of those people? There will always be. I, I'll give him credit, but he can't. Like I just said, he can't be in the conversation with Michael Jordan unless he goes he's somewhere 31. else and leads Let's his own not team. Go. He's only 31 years old. We didn't start the LeBron Jordan stuff until he was 32, 33. The LeBron Jordan stuff started in freaking Cleveland. I didn't start that. I, you that's weren't, other you people. weren't on TV at I, that I, time. I, I, that's other people on TV pushing nonsense when he's in Cleveland at 25 the years people old. People started that's idiotic. Bringing, no, no. People, he was all, nobody said he had reached him because he hadn't won championship. But people started talking about LeBron James as a potential heir or challenger to Michael Jordan when he was first in Cleveland. Okay. To me, that's fact. silly and dense. Nobody uh, said he had reached him, when but they I were look- saying that's the potential. Nobody's ever even thought Kevin Durant had the potential to be a Michael Jordan. From my perspective, and I'll, we'll move on after this, Kevin Durant, if he st- does this and tries this idea to go to a Knicks, a Clippers, and he fails, it is worse to go and fail than to stay and succeed in Golden State. My opinion is you stay, you win what four. What if you fail in Golden State? You're not going to. That team I, is too I, good. I, I mean, maybe an injury they might happens. They not win the fourth straight. Who's beating them? I, I don't think. I mean, we don't know if the Rockets are going to stay together. He's going to be better. Oh, Boston, geez. if Kyrie stays, will be right there. A lot of ifs. Yeah, of there's course no there's no ifs a lot for of staying ifs. in no, Golden State. No, there are State. ifs. There's ifs. Can, nobody's ever won four straight. That's why you do it. I think it'd be great. I just don't think they'd do it. All I don't right. think they went for it. So we figured out we'd get heated right out of the gate. Um, one nothing, J Mac. So on to Ty Lu, who today, Chris, uh, appears to be headed toward being the Lakers' next head coach. Monty Williams, the other guy that the Lakers wanted, he's going to Phoenix. Um, is Ty Lu the right hire for the Lakers? Assuming he gets it, they're going to offer it to him in a few days. Uh, I do think Ty Lu is the right hire. Number one, it's not just bringing in LeBron's guy. This is a guy that's been to three finals. This is a guy that's won in NBA finals. This is a guy that came back from a 3-1 deficit to a, the best regular season team in history. This is a guy that before he took over as a head coach was considered one of the best young coaching candidates out there. This is a guy that's been an assistant and a mentee to Doc Rivers who did one of the best coaching jobs we saw in the NBA this season. This is a guy that LeBron James respects. This is a guy that will challenge LeBron at a shoot-around, at a practice, in the locker room, at a film session. What's not to like? Yes, Ty Lue is the right hire. And it's not just, like I said, it's not just LeBron's boy. Of course you want LeBron on board with a hire. The Phoenix Suns want Devin Booker on board with a hire. So it's nothing wrong with your best player being on board with a hire. It's the right move. I... (sighs) My concern for the Lakers is you talked a lot about perception right. around the league in our last topic. The perception around the league, if Ty Lu goes to the I Lakers. I thought you didn't care about perception. Well, I'll tell you now why it matters. Well, do. here's why it matters. <laughs> Ty Lu goes to the Lakers. Every free agent to be. Oh, LeBron got his guy. That's LeBron's team. Are they getting Kevin Durant anyway? No matter who's the coach. If, I don't know. If the real MVP, Mama Durant, was is the... Uh, Kevin Durant, uh, Kyrie Wanda, Irving, the Chris coach, Middleton, are they getting, whoever. Are, Jimmy hold on, Butler. Hold on, let, let's keep it you real. You have to know you're going to LeBron's team. LeBron guy, LeBron's coach, Ty Lue. I just don't know. 
Now, other options. They're not I'll getting Kevin Durant. They're not getting Kyrie Irving. They're not getting Kawhi Leonard. No matter who's the coach. All right. I I don't know that for sure. Anthony uh, Davis, Ty Lue's di- p- uh, position there is not going to deter Anthony Davis from still wanting to join. We heard the, Kevin Durant the Lakers. totally blast the LeBron circus. Fine, he don't want to play with him. Fine, I'm not That's saying my it's point. just He's Kevin not going Durant. There no matter what. We don't know if there's anyone who's going to want to come and be under LeBron and the under people, Ty Lue. The people who wanted to come when LeBron joins your franchise. It, LeBron takes over the whole atmosphere. All right, Anthony Davis. That has Anthony Davis still wanted to go there with Luke Walton as a coach. You think Ty Lue, a champion, is going to deter Anthony Davis? But that's, no. uh, that's not Anthony Davis isn't a Jimmy, free agent. I don't think he it'll deter Jimmy somewhere. Butler. We'll see. I don't think it'll deter Kimball Walker. I know. Now, I don't think they're getting the top four guys. I don't think they're getting the four Ks. No. Any of them. I don't think they were getting them with Ty Lue as the coach. I don't think they're getting them with oh, whoever no. is the coach. That's bad news. Uh, listen, I would have gone with a neutral coach. Who you think they're getting? I would have gone for Mark Jackson, well, the announcer. I think he's Mark would be neutral, great, but he's not. And I he's agree. not known as a LeBron guy. I would have personally gone outside of the LeBron circle. Well, the, it, You have to admit, Chris, the keys to the franchise are now in LeBron's hands. I don't think that's the case. LeBron's not involved with this. He He's staying away from this coach. Okay. So you like this hire, yet... You're also now saying they're not going to get any of those. I don't think they were getting them anyway. Wow. So who are the Lakers getting this summer? You thought they were getting Kevin Durant? No, but I thought Kyrie Irving could be in play. I mean, I think there's a slim chance that Kyrie could decide to go there. Why would he go there there for Ty Lue? Did you read the story uh, right as he was leaving? Their practices were ugly. There was arguments. Ty Lue, uh, Kyrie Irving walked off the court. He had hey, issues tell with LeBron. LeBron too. Didn't they make up? They made up, but Ty Lue is going to be the coach. If he made up with LeBron, if LeBron made up to some degree with Dan Gilbert, dudes can make up. Okay. When you've been somewhere else, you find out the grass is not greener. Like I said, I don't think they're getting Kyrie. I like Kyrie the optimism. Either. I don't think they're getting Kyrie. I'm not optimistic about them getting Kyrie. I'm just saying I don't think. Ty Lue is, is as much of a deterrent to it as you. I like Mark Jackson. I agree. Look, the Lakers have botched this whole thing. Yes. I mean, they should have went out. They should be on the phone right now with Masai Ujiri, the president of the No, Toronto they got Raptors. Kurt Rambis' wife. She's running the show. That's it's all my good. point, right? So that's what I'm saying. Like, hire your front office, then go get the coach. So you're right. I would have had Mark Jackson in the running from I the like beginning. Mark so I'm with you on that. I'm just saying, I think. At Given this stage, the options, you're right. It's, okay. it's Ty Lewis. All right, let's move on to a guy you've been all over, and you've been accurate on him, Joel Embiid, totally dominating Toronto in Game you, Three. You don't like Embiid, huh? Uh, I like. I mean, he was phenomenal in Game Three, no doubt about it. Um, the injuries worry me, but uh, Mark Jackson, to bring his name up again, the announcer during Game Three said, "You know, I think he went off the reservation. This could be a top five center all he time. Say that. He well, didn't all the say time. That. What exactly was the quote? He said it's a crime if bar if if this guy leaves a game for any other reason than injury that he is not in the conversation as one of the greatest big men of all time. Okay. 158 regular season games from Joel Embiid and we're we're putting him in the discussion. 15 playoff games. What discussion? You just said we're looking at his potential and saying this guy could be one of the greatest bigs ever. That's okay. all we're doing. All right. okay, fine. Le- after LeBron James had played 158 games, before that even, people were looking at it and saying this could be one of the greatest LeBron players of all time. LeBron took the Cavs to the finals at what, 21-22 in he 2007? He didn't take them within 158 games. Well, it was like his fourth season. By he the wasn't way. even getting as far as Joel Embiid is after Joel Embiid missed games. the first two years with injury, which Le- is my LeBron next LeBron James point. missed the first two years of the, his seat career of the, in the playoffs. I'm shocked he that didn't 18 make the year old could not take a no, team to the No, but my playoffs. point is that if you see Potential. It's nothing wrong with saying potentially okay, fine. Potential. he could be one of the greatest fine. players. One ever. of the greatest top five centers or big <coughs> big men. Nobody said top five. Tim, in the conversation, what do you have Tim Duncan as? Power forward? Power forward. So we'll eliminate him. Can Joel Embiid, health pending, be better than Shaq? I can't believe you got to think about this. He, potentially. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. But I'm going to tell you why. Potentially he could. Number one, if MB, you know, we always count rings, and it's not just rings, but let's see, if he, if he wins a lot of rings, then you, he's in the conversation. His number, Shaq, never led the league in scoring. MB could do both, I mean, it's like a different Shaq league Shaq never led the league in the block. Tempo, that's shots, just That's like... another thing that's easy. That gives MB an advantage. He doesn't have a peer. 
Shaq, at least early in his career, had Akeem Olajuwon, Olajuwon David, I was gonna Robinson, mention him, David Robinson, Tim Duncan, Patrick Ewing. Who in the world is challenging Embiid? I mean, Nikola Jokic is good, but he's a different type of player. So you really like, there's think nobody on Embiid's Embiid, level. A guy who if is, he stays healthy, okay. so a big if. Yeah, of course, he that's, hasn't played sixty. But that's what Mark Jackson said. Yet. He said, barring injury, if this guy stays healthy. So you don't think it was he's hyperbole? Got, he's got the no. If he stays healthy, and that's a huge if. To your point. He's defensively, he's great. He rebounds the basketball. He can score on anybody in the post, mid-range, and his okay. three-point is going to get better I, and better. I know. What can he do? Love it. And you were early, an if early I, adapter on Embiid. You were right. Um, I just want to remind you, last year playoffs against the Celtics, Al Horford totally played him off the court. Embiid could not defend the pick and roll. Horford right. murdered him. I mean, the guy he, 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 blocking it's a lot of shots. To the best of them. I'm just saying, I think it's a little premature on MB. I, I think we're a little bit early. I need to see more. All besides he the said health, said was he if he stays healthy, he'll be in the converse. He should be in the He's conversation. He's beating up a 34 year old Mark Gasol. Like he beats up Gaga. everybody in the league. He didn't beat up Horford last year in the well, playoffs. Well, let's see what they do Al this Horford year. Al Horford is a tremendous defender. No, he is. He's playing great against Giannis. I would like to let's see a see Boston Philly rematch. This year. All right, I'll give you that one because you were early on in Baden. You haven't won a point in a couple weeks. All right, let's wrap up on this one, Chris Broussard. Brooklyn Nets have gotten a couple mentions here today. New York Knicks have gotten a couple mentions. What's the more attractive destination right now for free agents? Brooklyn, which has a decision to make with New D'Angelo York Russell. Knicks, without question. Now, Brooklyn has a better roster. Brooklyn is a better team. Better head right coach. Now. Better head coach. Atkinson? He, David, I wouldn't say that. David Fisdell has done just as much as Atkinson in the playoffs. He, he remembered uh, the, I, I think take I, that for data. I think Atkinson has done more with less, but that's neither here. I mean, in Memphis, he had They're a They're both team. good coaches. Fair. All right. Fisdell has been more around superstars. We haven't seen Atkinson with that. Yeah, that's Atkinson dangerous. Atkinson might be a little like engine that, co- that could coach. You know, so... This is why I say New York is is a better destination. But you didn't get to the both, owner. You didn't they get to the both, owner. fine. Worst owner care. in the NBA. Fine. Or second They worst. both Starver. have two max salary slots. That's key. If you win in New York, it is so much bigger than winning in Brooklyn. You know, you've lived in that area. You have worked born in, in that area. You're yeah. born and bred you in that area. At the New York the time. Nets. I'm sorry, it's nice. They're a nice story. But they are still far, far, far below the Knicks. To to the point earlier, if Kevin Durant leads the Knicks to a championship, that that will mean so much. It will mean more. I I thought he was the best player in the world. If he goes with Kyrie Irving, you going to tell me, and a top draft pick? That might be Zion Williamson. A lot of he ifs. can't lead New York to I, a championship. I, I, as a Knicks fan, I don't want it to happen because I know they're going to find a way to screw it up. But let me push back Stop real briefly. It. Have Listen, a little heart. Brooklyn's roster is better and it's younger. You're going to have to let D'Angelo. And, I'm not denying that. Yeah, I, you I, let D'Angelo totally Russell you. walk in. If I'm Kevin Durant, okay, if I'm Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, and I put you, Kevin Durant and Kyrie in Brooklyn, they have a better team and a supporting Levert, cast around. Dinwiddie, right. the Dinwiddie, kid, yeah, Jared even with Allen, D'Angelo, I agree. Super nice. But if I put, and I put him in New York though, with Zion, let's see with Zion. Yeah. D, you right. can keep DeAndre Jordan is a good friend of KD's. Even if I say Brooklyn's team right at the start is better, this New York team is great, and you know it. If you win in New York, yes. Right, Winning well, it in Brooklyn is not everything with the Knicks is magnified. Isaiah Thomas was far from the worst GM ever. Anyway, yeah. But because it happened in New York, it was magnified, and that's what people think of it. Jeremy Lin, if he does that in Brooklyn, if he does those two months in Sacramento, Milwaukee, it's no Lin insanity. Yeah, yeah. You do it in New York. He was on Sports Illustrated's cover twice. But we're, we're I mean, saying that's that the as difference. older. I can't believe I'm just saying I'm an older gentleman. But these young players grew up. Knowing the Knicks have never been anything. It's not about the young players. I agree. About 20 years since they went to the finals. I agree, but it's not about the young players. It's about, it's still the biggest media market in the world. It's still the key. It's the Yankees. So let's go to the other coast and the second biggest market in the country, the Los Angeles. More attractive right now. Clippers, young core, Jerry West, Doc Rivers, who I have as coach of the year. 
or the Lakers. Really? Yeah, Doc, I, Doc Rivers has been <clears throat> phenomenal. I mean, they took two games off I the have Warriors. Bruce Holzer. Or the Lakers, the marquee franchise it depends of the NBA. On, it, it depends on what kind of player you are. If I'm Kevin Durant, I'd rather go to the Clippers because I, I need to establish, I feel, my own team. I, rather than go join LeBron and help him win more rings, I'm, I'm going to beat LeBron and win more rings. You just rings. made me think about something. Let me ask So you. if I'm Kevin Durant, that's how I'm feeling. If I'm Kawhi, just knowing Kawhi, I mean, Kawhi – could be a nice tandem with LeBron, but I think he'll choose the Clippers. Uh, if I'm Kyrie, if I'm going by myself, I would rather go to the Lakers if I'm Kyrie than the Clippers. And be uh, by let, myself. Let, you just said if you were Kevin Durant, you wouldn't go to the Lakers. It just hit me. He goes to the Lakers. Kevin Durant wins a title with LeBron, right. and Durant's the MVP over LeBron. Right. That could easily happen because we know nobody yeah. can guard Durant. It could easily happen. That makes a lot of sense. No, because you go to LA and do that. Here's the problem. Look, you you and, and, and LeBron? I'll admit the only reason in my mind, and maybe Kevin Durant doesn't care about it. He'll certainly say he doesn't care about it. But the only reason for Kevin Durant to leave Golden State in my mind is is legacy, is image, legacy. Like they're still rightly or wrongly J Mac, and I never have criticized KD for going to Golden State, but rightly or wrongly. There is the perception widely held that he joined the bandwagon. Rightly or wrongly, and you have to admit, that's the perception. Not among, that's a perception everywhere. Not every person believes it, but in every group of people, that's a perception. So why isn't the perception, one. Chris, that LeBron created a super team in Miami with a top 10 there player was. at Dwayne Wade and a top 15, top yep, 20 player at Chris Bosh? And there guess was. what? Here we are 10 years later, maybe eight years later. You know why? It's kind of evaporated. No, Just no, as no it has. You know why it evaporated? Because he went somewhere else Cleveland. and did it Fair by enough. himself. Okay. Or not by himself, but his, he led a team that wasn't ready-made to win a championship. I'll give, I've said from the beginning, what KD did was similar. Not the same exactly, but very similar to what LeBron did. But, KD went to a more ready-made situation by far. But they were very similar. And then when LeBron went back to Cleveland, he didn't just go to play with Kyrie. And they that, added Kevin Exactly. Love. And what I'm saying is Le- KD should not just go to New York by himself. No That way. would be insanity. Right. Okay, so I agree. Just to but be clear. if you go with Ka- Kyrie or, or Ka- Kawhi or a second star, then I think it's the but move. Th- th- but let me, say, let, me tell you, let me tell you why he shouldn't go to the Lakers. Because your perception, your, your image among many people is that you joined the bandwagon. If you go and join the other best player in the world, then it's going to be the same thing, even though the team, it'll be more like what LeBron did in Miami, where, yeah, we still had to build it and make sure it works together, but you're stacked. So if you go and join LeBron, you're still going to another stat it's, team. It's weird how people. It's not going to be the same. The Heatles. They were the fun. They were the best show in in, in Man, the NBA. Man, do you forget how much they got crushed? The first I've year. Forgotten. I mean, it's been before. Seven, well, when they before, lost to the when Mavericks. he first went there, then when they the first when year JJ they were JJ Barea billing, shut him down. They in the were finals. hated. Yeah. They were and hated. now history says because he won, because he went to Cleveland and won, and justify I can lead a team that's not ready made. To the championship. Well, they, they, Kyrie Irving was the number one overall pick, and Kevin Love was a top how, ten player how much in the NBA. Did, how much did either of those guys win before they joined LeBron? Less than zero. Thank you. But I'm saying Kevin Durant can say, I don't need Kyrie Irving. I don't want to play with him. I'll play with LeBron. But LeBron's a, won three championships. He's the, some people think he's the best player of all time. Mm. He's still toward the tail end yeah. of his prime. I'm just telling you for the perception. Yeah. I, if I was That's KD, the and look, word of you know K, KD has always wanted to compete with LeBron, beat LeBron, and prove he's better. Why should he go join LeBron and help LeBron win more and rings? And show him who the better player is when you they're on the You ain't going to show it side by side, especially when LeBron will be in his 17th year. He's showing year. it side by side with Steph Curry. He's Le- the better player. Steph's not LeBron. And LeBron's in his 17th year. Showing you're better than LeBron and he's an old man, is it the same? He averaged 27, 8, and 8. He was an MVP He's in his 17th year. And, and to people around the league don't think he was the same player this year that he has been before, even though he put up the numbers. Why wouldn't you want to go and beat LeBron? You already beat him. 
the last two you years. Beat him with you the, destroyed him. You beat him with, in the with arguably the best supporting cast. If, I don't even want to call it a supporting cast ever. Best team ever. Yeah, they would. You you were part can, of that. Can we put this down? We're going to talk about these Warriors versus Jordan's Bulls at some point. I know we're on different That's sides here. That's such a hard. It's this just is such a hard. Such discussion. a dominant team. So dominant. I'm not betting against Michael Jordan because we never. Oh, I'm saw not betting him. against Kevin Durant. Or We've Steph seen Curry. Kevin Durant get beat. We've seen them blow yeah, both of them. You know, blow you're right. Ron leads. Harper probably could shut down. We saw Curry. Them both <laughs> of them blow three-one leads. Draymond Green versus Dennis Rodman. That would be fun. It would I'd be love fun. that. It'd be a great right, series. I think that does it. Another episode in the books. You need another shirt. Uh, sweating after that first debate, huh? So fun. So fun. All right, everybody, have a good weekend. We'll be back next week. Knock down Jay. We'll talk to you then. <laughs>